In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create animated bubble slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the first bubble comes, you can see here, I have put the icon, the option and the detailed text, and I have added some shadow effect here. You can see here with some different color combination. And at the back side also, I have just given some a shining object. And when I click, it comes the second one, the smaller size. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease the size and with a different color combination you can see here and then it comes the third one the fourth fifth and sixth so depending on your requirement either you can increase or decrease the bubbles here and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any dark color. In this example, I've taken a black one. So go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the oval shape. Hold the shift key while drawing the oval shape. So you get a perfect circle. You can see here something like this. Shape outline, make it no outline. Then I'm going to give a gradient fill for this right mouse click go to format shape and select gradient fill here actually i've used two colors two stops here uh, because i've used uh, in the past i have just uh, it shows here the same thing so what i'm going to do is uh, by default there will be four stops you need to delete two and keep it only two and one stop i'm going to make it a black color okay full black color or any black color you can choose and here another one i'm going to make it a white color here okay and the type you need to select the radial and direction you can see from center so now what i'm going to do is my example if i want more you can see here it becomes more whiter but i'm going to drag this so i want only the the outer layer only should be white and other should be black the next step i'm going to give some more uh, brighter uh, shades here at the corners for that i'm going to select and duplicate press ctrl d to duplicate and here the gradient fill i'm going to make it kind of a linear here you can see here linear i made it, it comes something like this now again how much you need for example i need this much and then if you want the same color or if you want different color you can just come and choose any color of your choice for example i'm just going to give this and then I'm just going to and this one, the black one, I'm going to make it fully transparent. All right. You can see here something like this. Then I'm just going to paste it on top of this. All right. So again, if you want to reduce it, you can just further reduce it. And if you want to add the other side also, press Ctrl D and other side, maybe I want to add some different color. So I can just choose this different color and then I'm just going to rotate it. You can see here and I'm going to put it here all right now once this is done you can add a few more shapes also i can just go to insert shapes and i'm going to select the old shape again okay and shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to make it white then go to the effects under soft adjust increase the size you can see here something like this we can further increase or again if you want to give some different color again it's up to you whichever color which you feel better you can give it and then you can just put it here something like this i want to add one shining object at the back so what i'm going to do i'm just going to select this press ctrl d and i'm going to change the color to white you can see here and soft adjust reduce the size you can see something like this okay and maybe further and then I'm just going to select it here and then go to format, send this to back. So something like this, you can make it or if you want, you can just increase the size further. You can see here something like this also, it can be added at the back side. So once this is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all or I can just press Ctrl A to select all, Ctrl G to group it. I'll move this one side press ctrl d and depending on my requirement either increase or decrease the size of the shape you can see here and randomly i'm just going to add depending on my requirement some bubbles so you can see here 
I can add it here again I can add one more here all right and now for example if I want to change the color so what I can do is I can just simply select this and maybe I can just change the color to purple here maybe I can move a little bit aside and then I'm going to select this and I'm going to give maybe a color of blue you can see here then I'm just going to put it back to its position all right you can see here exactly like this so like this you can just change the color for each and every bubble and the next thing I would like to do is to add the icons and the option and the detailed text so for that go to insert and if you're using the latest version of PowerPoint you can just simply the add the icons or if you don't have this one you can download a free a download a template which I have provided in my uh, channel so i'm just going to randomly select uh, four or five uh, different uh, icons you can see here and i'm going to change the color to white and maybe i can just reduce the transparency and one more thing which i want to do is i want to just reduce the size to 0.5 maybe and then i can just paste it on top of each object you can see here something like this and one more i have to add it here or what i can do is i can just select this and i can just make it more smaller also so you know something like this press ctrl d you can add more smaller objects like this okay and then what you can do is once you have added this one let me just put it exactly in the center then i'm going to add the numbers go to text box and then i'm just going to type 0 1 or a b c d depending on your requirement and then make it bold increase the size and i'm going to put it here one press ctrl d this would be two ctrl d this could be three let me just move this up and here for this i'm going to reduce the size okay and this is three and this one i'm just going to duplicate and put this one here as four all right and then what you can do is you can just add some detailed text here so again go to insert text box add detail text here reduce the size you can see here press ctrl d and then add it one by one on each bubble you can see here with this uh, our design is finished now you can again group it one by one make sure that you should not select any other object press ctrl g so again i can just group it group it and this also i can group it now you can add some basic animation to it so let me just add the basic animations to it close the format background go to the animations enable the animation pane and for this i'm going to say fly in you can see here and depending on your requirement either you can increase or decrease the speed maybe i can just put medium so it comes something like this and then i'm going to add one more animation where i'm just going to do a grow and shrink you can see here grow and shrink double click this and the size i don't want 150 percent and maybe i want only 120 percent and press the enter key here and just say auto reverse timings you can say until end of the slide click ok and this should happen with previous so if i play the slide it comes something like this you can see it keeps on increasing or decreasing so again depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the speed of the animation and then i'm just going to copy the animation double click and then it should come here it should come for this it should come for this and press the escape key so this could be two here this is three and this is four so if i play it comes something one two three and four so like this you can add simple animation effect to it